Hello, welcome to the next podcast around the College Talks Wicket Memorabilia. I hope you've had a good Christmas. I thought I'd sneak a one in for uh, just before the New Year. So it's uh, New Year's Eve now. So I hope your uh, entertainment for this evening will be uh, all indoors because uh, Uncle Boris has given us the big lockdown. So um, we'll do our best to uh, enjoy ourselves. I've got a bottle of wine myself, so we'll probably have that and uh, then go to bed about half past 12 probably. So anyway, um, just want to finish off a couple of bits from last week, uh, 1948 um, Australian Invincibles Tour. A um, couple of programmes here. This one's uh, sort of common garden, 1948 uh, Tour Prochure. And all the pictures of the players and what you in, and uh, a bit of history over the Ashes series. So the first one after the war, which was uh, quite something, I should think. Um, this one here is... Uh, Players itinerary from the Invincibles tour, which is signed by all the players apart from Linville. Some of them are fading a little bit there, but um, it's quite a nice uh, uh, little brochure, little booklet. Gives you all the details. Got the team members there. The 20th Australian side, and um, what else have we got here? Playing hours. Um, there's all the fixtures on that one there. So this is players only, so it's quite a a rare little thing, that's all the places they were going to. Map of England there and Scotland. Uh, it's quite a nice uh, item. Map of London, it's got all the um, addresses of the hotels and things on there, so it's quite a nice item. Um, quite a thing, uh, the uh, tour after the tour with all the uh, food rationing or whatever going on, so they must have uh, struggled a little bit. I mean, the, the travelling and playing nearly every day, so uh, it must have been quite a thing. Anyway, we were going to go to uh, um, entry levels and things for new collectors and, uh, and old collectors alike. Um, but I've sat there thinking about it for a while and I think to myself, well, where do you start? I mean, there's so many many places and things to uh, collect these days. Um, you can just collect anything, photographs, autographs, ceramics, books, all sorts of things you can collect. So I thought I'd start with um, cigarette cards, which is quite a... Um, easy entry level really um, not overly expensive until you get to the older ones which are which can still reach quite a price so um, anyway we'll start with a this one was given to me by some uh, friends of mine who uh, left their motorcycle in my garage while they went to Australia it's uh, three of Don Bradman's tours there from 1930 to 1938 so uh, quite nice little cards there and that was going to be I mean that's probably going to be $25 as a retail price in Australia so uh, I'm probably going to get 5 or £10 for that perhaps if you're lucky. Another one here is um, this is Churchman's WA and AC Churchman. These are original cards here. Took me a while to get the rest. I was three short for quite a while and uh, Ken Burney assisted me with the number one which is the MCC cap. That's got all the counties at the time, 19, uh, mid 20s, I think. This one I'm going down to the uh, East Ingari. Nice frame. I mean, if you get these things framed, it's going to cost you 30 40 pounds easily to frame them. So, uh, um, the cards are not going to cost you a great deal, probably might be 15 20 pounds perhaps. But, uh, reasonably rare set. Don't see many of those around. I'm quite pleased with that in the collection. And then I've got to, uh, Show you these ones here. It's a cigarette album which I tore most of Surrey to try and find to put some uh, cards in, which go from the Major Drapkin of uh, 1926 and 1930, rather, shall I say? Um, that's 26 and 30. They're actually um, 1928, so I've got um, Ted Beckett in there uh, and, and Warren Bardsley, real photographs. So quite nice ones, and then uh, a flip through this one. You got the 1930s. That's John Player again. That one, full set there of Australians. There's some uh, nice cards in that one. All in a, a pose. They're, they're batting or bowling poses. Finish there, and uh, they've got some facsimile ones of the Body Line series there, which obviously aren't really worth a great deal, but uh, retail price would want to cost you 25, 30 pound. Um, so quite a nice little set there. There you go on to the 1934 side, four set there, John Player again, starting the game there with Les Ames. 
the right way through. It makes it quite nice for this photograph album. And uh, else we've got there, got Smith's there and uh, Robin's, another Smith down the bottom there. They come to the Australians, there's Bradman up there and Barnes, Barnet. Um, so it's quite a nice set at 1934 set action. And then uh, going up to these ones, which are facsimile of uh, South African teams of 1894. A team from 1894. Like I say, you can get an image of the players. I mean, you can't, don't normally get a good image of players uh, every now and again on these uh, data cards. So that's quite a nice um, reproduction set. And if you were going to get that at auction, that might cost you. It's got a nice original um, fake leather. Uh, cover on it, uh, and that might all that lot set in there might cost you 50 60 pounds, perhaps. Um, quite a nice little selection, but um, as a set of ordinary ones, uh, the sets themselves aren't a great deal of value probably five to ten pounds, perhaps, for a set. Um, but um, this one here, I mean, obviously, you want things signed, so this is a nice this one here. I've shown this before. This is a 1938 set. Um, as right away again, there from the old Les Ames, he's always first on the list, which is over here. So these have got the uh, 1938 cigarette cards, John Player, plus a photograph of each player, and uh, their signature. There's uh, Dennis Compton there, which is a lovely signature from Dennis there. Um, and this one, there's Davis there, Morgan Player, or Ken Farns. So there's some nice signatures in here. And I bought this at a, uh, as Lynn Hutton, at a CMS auction, probably 20 years ago, perhaps. Um, Morris Lane, and who's uh, been prominent in the collection in the last week or two with uh, the 1928 photograph, signed photograph. Um, Jim Parks there. Let me show you a few of the Australian ones. Let me show you a further one up here. And the Verity. And then we come to that's the old Sid Barnes there. Quite a nice large signature there from Sid. And there we are, this Bradman. And that Bradman signature is um, about 1948. I think he started signing that with the little cross 1948. So um, signed off. Obviously, he wrote off to Lynn and uh, got his uh, signature from Chipperfield there. It's a nice signature for Chipperfield. I'd say this one was bought at CMS auction. It's about £120, I think, for Stan McCabe. And uh, reputedly collected by Brian Statham. So that's quite a nice uh, album. And I would say that you get that. Uh, there's um, Ward, we were missing. And then there's Ward there. Look, we were missing him in the uh, cigarette books. So um, that's in there now. It was quite a nice signature actually. Uh, you can get the uh, these albums, uh, 1938 again, John Play. You should get these and you should stick them in, which unfortunately detracts from their value. I know it makes a nice little um, display and a presentation wallet and everything. But it um, doesn't do anything for its value, but quite a nice set there. Gives you information on all the players and stuff, so it's quite nice, uh, really. But that's probably only going to be five, five pound maximum, really. Um, but yeah, this um, this book here, which is um, probably going to cost you, I imagine, unless two people start going for it at auction, probably 150 to 200 pound. Um, Signature is obviously the valuable part of it. Um, so uh, quite a nice little uh, presentation with the Brian Statham accreditation with it as well. So uh, I thought I'd do a couple of postcards as well while I'm at it. And uh, a couple of low entry postcards, reproduction one there with uh, W.G. Grace, it's Captain England v. Australia. That's uh, 1896, that one. That's a reproduction, probably a couple of pounds or something like that. And also we've got the uh, other reproduction one here of the 1876-7 uh, side to uh, Australia. Alfred Shaw in there and Jupp and uh, Humphreys, Lily White, quite a nice postcard, gives you a nice image, so uh, rather than forking out hundreds and some pounds for it. Um, just do a couple more in here from the postcards of entry levels. Um, 
There's a postcard, Christmas card here from 1924-25 um, with, with a side on and this one is um, signed by FC Toon and sent to C.R. Wilson Squire. Paradise Square, cracking signature that. Um, and it's, uh, what does it say? Here's wishing you a jolly Christmas and good luck in 1925. So that's quite a nice card, that one. That one's going to probably set you back 50, 60 pound perhaps. Um, so all of ours will be probably uh, be a nice. Um, this is going to be a rare one. This, will, this is starting when we're getting into uh, some expensive areas here. This one here is Lily what um what Tennyson's tour to the West Indies in 1924. Ah, 1926, sorry. And uh, all the team on the back there bar one I think, which is uh, quite nice. And there's a road in Jamaica. Um, that's a Jamaican postcard on the back there, so that's quite a rarity, and that's probably going to set you back a couple of hundred quid that one, like it did me. Um, just a couple of other little things there's a signed. Dennis Compton card there, which was a Brill Cream promotional card, 1946 7 Tour Blazer on there. I'll do one more, which is Trevor Bailey, which has got a slight crease in it, but it's quite a nice card there with uh, his Tour Blazer on again. And uh, Lucas Aid replaces Austin, you've got a facsimile signature there on um, Trevor Bailey. Well, that's only going to be about 10 or 15 pounds, perhaps that one without a signature. So, um, so running out of time again, unfortunately. So uh, I'll uh, sign off now and wish you uh, all a happy new year. We can obviously do some more entry levels and increasing levels on uh, a few more podcasts. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you on the next one after the new year. Cheers.